Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here with another Proto Tech Tip. Now today, we're gonna dig into the two types of acetals that we offer. You have critical timelines and need parts made quickly, which is why we are your one-stop shop for custom manufacturing. Part of that one-stop shop is having a wide variety of materials for machining, sheet metal fabrication, and more. When manufacturing your parts with Protocase, you can incorporate plastics in a number of ways, like adding an acrylic window to your enclosures or 3D printing components. We've got a Prototech Tip video that gives a high-level overview of the plastic options at Protocase. Check out the link in the description below. Today, however, we're going to talk about a specific type of plastic that we offer called acetyl. Now, designers and engineers often use acetyl to make clamps for cables or bus bars, fiber optic trays, panels, rack stands, and clamping brackets. Acetyl is really the material of choice when designing an opaque component. It has really great dimensional stability, which makes it perfect for close tolerance machine parts. And because of its low friction, a lot of our customers will specify acetyl for enclosure components that slide onto one another. Acetyl is an engineered thermoplastic with high tensile strength, stiffness, and fatigue endurance. It also has high resistance to moisture, organic solvents, and lubricants. Its stability is excellent and exhibits low friction and excellent abrasion resistance. Acetyl's resistance to creep is excellent. That means that it won't slowly deform over a long period of exposure to high levels of stress. Because of this, acetyl is a great option for parts that incorporate self-threading screws. It also has good electrical properties, making it perfect for electrical applications requiring long-term stability. Acetyl retains much of its toughness through a broad temperature range. Now, at the end of the day, acetyl is a highly useful plastic for many different applications. Protocase now stocks two different kinds of acetyl, copolymer and homopolymer. Specifically, the homopolymer acetyl we stock is the brand name of Delrin. Now, let's go through the differences between the two types. First, a little refresher on polymers. On the chemical level, polymers are macromolecules. They are repeating patterns of smaller molecules called monomers. Monomers can be thought of as the building blocks of polymers. Homopolymers are polymers with only one type of monomer. Copolymers exist when there are two or more types of monomers. Now, Delrin is a type of acetyl homopolymer. It has many of the same benefits of the acetyl copolymer that we have always stocked, but it's stronger because of its crystalline structure and its uniform. It is harder, so it's more resistant to impacts and abrasion. Delrin generally has better mechanical properties, such as higher tensile and yield strength, a lower friction coefficient, good electrical properties, and tighter tolerances for machining. Copolymers are more resistant to hot water and strong solutions with high pH values than Delrin. Delrin, however, is still chemical resistant. Delrin is also more tolerant to higher temperatures than acetyl, though both are really good. Copolymers are not as porous as Delrin can be, which leads to it being better suited for medical or other applications where porosity is important. All in all, it is generally best to use Delrin for applications which require strength and use copolymers in areas which prioritize chemical resistance. Both are great for a wide range of applications, while Delrin is slightly higher priced, leading to copolymers being a fine choice for applications which don't require Delrin's superior mechanical properties. In the end, Protocase is here to manufacture your panels, brackets, and enclosures exactly how you envision it in whatever quantity that you require. Protocase can help you incorporate either type of acetyl into your next project, whether it be copolymer or homopolymer. Reach out to your account manager or visit our website to get in contact and get your next project started. Thanks for watching this week's Prototech Tip video and tune in next week for another one.